y'all forever here. Uh, I look so insane. <laughs> My hair is getting longer. I like being goofy and kind of spunky. Seems to kind of always been my character to be kind of this. I remember when I was a kid, I'd always have to do all the things that no one else would ever do. I'd always have to be 100% like different. <laughs> And like this unique person and was the brave one to break apart the social norms and do what your soul really wants you to do. I don't know why I'm saying this. That's like a great background of what a lot of people, that's what a lot of people need to break through into right now is just follow their heart and soul's calling. So I guess this is kind of the message. I kind of wanted to share my experience of what I was going through, and I will. But I guess that's kind of the message, is to follow your heart's calling. What your inner self is guiding you to do. And you're capable of doing that. So I am just like, it's like disorienting. And it's always this connection. For, for some reason, for me, it seems to be this connection with my twin flame where our energies are like coming closer together and it's integrating and healing us and activating us. And so there's this surge of energy that's just with me and her working together or us working individually on ourselves together in a way, energetically we're just like amplifying our energy and just kind of going through these whirlwind after whirlwind of like activation, clearing, depression, resting. And, you know, I just watched this video of that Victor guy. He's really, I really like a lot of his things and I thought it was crazy. One of my roommates did a video with him a while back. <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting. But whether you watch this guy's videos or not, he was talking about spiritual depression where it's like you go in in and out of this depression. That seems what it's kind of like. And it's, it's almost like a bipolar thing in a way, but it's not bipolar. It's a spiritual awakening. And I think the year of 2018 was all about inner transformation, but we're still, com we're just coming out of the year 2018 and just coming into the year 2019 because the zodiacal year really just started on uh, the new moon equinox when we shifted into Aries. So I feel this fire energy, but at the same time, I feel like I'm still like in this, in this depression. And I think if we're, I think that we're gonna snap out of this like depression phase and be straight to work. And I feel like, how am I gonna do this? I feel like I just need so much downtime. Like I just wanna sleep all the time. Like I just wanna like rest. Like everything seems kind of like boring. I don't really wanna do anything right now. I just wanna sit here and feel good. And the energy does feel really good, but it seems like when you try to go out and about and like try to figure things out, it's, you seem to like my experience is that I just get really ungrounded and life's like, no, lay in bed and sit still and just meditate and, and go through your process. So it's like I'm in a cocoon. And, but I got this sound healing tonight that I have to do and I'm I, I'm getting I'm starting to get a little excited for it but kind of what bothers me is I don't feel as excited as I know I feel like it should be and it's just part of my process of what I'm going through and you know this is a step in my direction I feel like right now this is a good step for me it might not be the ultimate ultimate step it might be it might lead to 
a lot of like recognition as a healer so that I can receive more work. And I really need to step into that part of my journey where I make money doing what I love. And I need the financial abundance. And I'm stepping out of this poverty phase, I guess. I For some reason, I've just kind of gone through some poverty and been like a homeless traveler. And I love doing that. But I want to keep traveling in the future. But I want to have a job that aligns with that. And being a healer and traveling and doing events and stuff like that is kind of my ultimate dream. And then eventually creating a permaculture farm that's a healing crisis place for people that are going through spiritual awakening and don't know what to do and that are having the crisis and the difficulties and the right that's my kind of my ultimate fruition of what I want to do for I guess the next 30 years of my life because I'm in my Saturn return and this is the new chapter of my life entering the old chapter closing and the new chapter starting to begin and the foundation coming in for that and you know I want to create art and 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 do healing and I want to create like film and movies or, or skits and things like that right now I'm make, making some like uh, comedy skits with some of my roommates and it's really cool I have to share some of those videos but you know I think it's about noon right now and I probably need to be at the place around six so I'm just gonna sit here and meditate and anchor in the light and you know I wish I was kind of like more in I guess my energy is very radiating my I, my radiant body is very intense and it's just like this overwhelming just like like and it seems to be very pushy like it's out of your control and it's like just surrender to love. <sighs> and so I'm like thinking like, oh, I feel like I'm not all the way here because I'm changing so much and shifting so much. And it's like, I got to do a guided meditation. I want to speak clearly with people. And it's like, it'll happen. <laughs> right? It like... I feel really confident with my throat singing like like I'm really good at what I do. So this is a, and and this isn't the first time I've done this. That which is what's kind of weird because like before I was just so confident. I was a little nervous the other times that I did healing during groups. But I don't know. I guess maybe this is maybe this is not even my own stuff coming up. Maybe it is. I don't know. Cuz I feel like before I kind of just suppressed those parts of myself that were afraid and just went for it and kind of faced that fear, but you still have to kind of release all of these other fears that cuz I think it is important sometimes for us to just step forward, but then we have to kind of step back and, and grab those parts of ourselves that weren't ready to move forward. But sometimes, we, like my situation four years ago, is I had to step out of my situation because it was so toxic and, and not beneficial to me. And I had to move to a new state where, you know, I had freedom away from toxic people and I was in an environment that I got more exercise in and just experienced this total newness. And, I feel like we're about to step into this total newness and for my own experience it's with my twin flame and she's about to take the leap that I took when I was 24. She just turned 24. It's crazy and I've felt this connection with this person for at least four years now. Consciously. I started picking up on it like three years ago and now I have like just this solid like knowing that this is my partner like I cannot make up these experiences and you know I know I'm not delusional in like making things up because I, I know some people have said that to me and it's like you know what I'm I, I know what I know in my heart but also, 
I have a boatload of synchronicity, of visions. Like, like the other night, I felt all this energy on my sacral chakra in in my gut, and I was just like, it felt like I was stoned. Like I was just like, oh, I just felt so good, grounded in my gut. And then energy started coming up into my heart, and I started releasing fear. And it's like, ah, oh, this doesn't feel like my my fear. And it's like I got anxiety, and it's like, whoa, I feel like. Like my twin flame's face is on my face and I can see her mole and energy spinning and it's like, whoa, it's like I can like feel her lips as if they're mine. It's like feels kind of weird and I'm feeling anxiety and it's just like this tidal wave of, of just intense energy. And then I looked on her YouTube and she posted a video that went in order of all the things I was experiencing. She was doing a meditation for her sacral chakra and I was like, whoa. Felt all this, like as she was doing healing on herself and making this meditation video, she was also doing it on me. And it's like, I've sent her so much light, I need to be okay with her like having intense light and it overwhelming me because I think that's how she feels about my energy. And it's like, whoa, let's tame it down. Let's like, I love being intense with the energy though. And just riding that lit wave. I feel like the more that we sit with the energy and integrate it, the more that it changes us and it stretches our capacity of how much energy and light we can embody, of how much soul, higher self, cities, like psychic abilities, in magnetism, we're just essentially growing our light. By sitting here and essentially doing nothing, I mean, you're sitting there with energy, just in a, this kundalini activation, and your body's just radiating out this love and intensity, and the fears are just echoing away. And it, it charges the world around you. I noticed I was charging L.A. when I was in L.A., and it was like going into the ground and like super, like, wow, that's how powerful we are. So, feeling ungrounded because of the intensity of the energy is just kind of my issue. And then kind of what comes along with that is some anxiety. And this is just my process. Like, I've, and feeling tired. So, like when a lot of energy goes through you, it's perfectly normal to feel kind of wiped out afterwards. Like you don't want to do anything. Like you just want to sleep. And it's like... <sighs> like I feel like I'm kind of out of breath right now. Just from the energy. And it, my experience is it seems to be mostly coming from my twin flame. Because when I sit there and do breath work, it seems like it stirs up her energy and it like does something between me and her energy that just like, like there's a synergistic radiance. Like whenever I try to move forward and break through with something, it pulls her along with me and then it forces her to face her anxiety and then it stirs up that anxiety and then I start feeling it. And so it's like, I feel like I'm waiting for her to move forward. I'm waiting for divine timing. And then I'm seeing her. Man, why am I talking so much about this? This is just my experience. So yeah, I'm speaking from spiritual awakening and going through this shift and a deep transformation and activations but my journey is I'm going through it along with the twin flame journey. And that seems to be a very significant factor in my awakening. And I really started this journey when I was like 16 where I got interested into metaphysics and meditation and stuff like that. And it didn't really integrate or click in and, ha and I didn't really have the realization until I was like 23. And one day I just like woke up and, but when I was 19, I had a shift where I had been shifting fr with energies and I'd been going through an energetic shift 
and I just didn't know it. And I thought there was something wrong with me, and I tried all the medications on the block, and uh, yeah. I guess when I was 23, I kind of broke free from that. and was like, whoa, I'm not crazy. Like, this is actually spiritual stuff. You know, this stuff I read about in high school. Like, this actually is spiritual stuff. I'm actually going through an awakening. It's so surreal. I can't even freaking believe it, but I'm like ascending. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? And having that realization was intense, but so liberating and freeing. It took away a lot of things that I thought I needed to be responsible for in the way I was trying to be responsible for him. And then I realized, like, you know, the divine wants me to live this greater, bigger, better, higher life purpose. Not just be a common, mundane person working at a golf course, just making money to survive, you know. You know, I can actually do what I want to do even though I may not know that, know what I want to do right now. And I can do something that will make me happy and fulfilled and bring abundance and wealth in other ways instead of just money. So, Cal Forever here. Um, spiritual Journal Flow. Peace.